Hey there, this is Darren, day 152. So, actually, on the last one I said I'd record it in a minute. It was, uh, today it was 23 minutes. 23 minutes. And, uh, had a boot camp all day, trained the trainer, and I lost my voice, as you can probably tell, but it's slowly coming back to me. So I read to the end of Save the Cat, and... <clears throat> At the end, it was just like a glossary of terms. And a couple of things that stood out, uh, even though I read about them earlier, one was the subtext. Subtext is, oops. Subtext is when there is a scene that's like about a couple uh, deciding between Macintosh and Pink Lady apples at the grocery store. It seems like a stupid little scene, but the subtext is, they're going through a divorce or about to uh, uh, go through a divorce, have challenges in their marriage. So it's really not about the fruit. It's about really what's happening in their relationship. That's something I need to learn about to, to learn how to write that in. Uh, he reminded of the six things that need fixing in the main character and then they get resolved later on. Um, talks about running gags. The promise of the premise. And... As we teach about premise and speaking, it's the same thing. So if the premise is every speaker can create a world-class presentation, well, great pitch, great idea, but you better come through. You better deliver that. So what this means is you better come through on the log line that helped you sell the pitch or sell the movie. Pre-sold franchise, meaning there's a pre-sold um, following to this movie. So all the comic book characters, um, old TV series, meaning there's a built-in group of fans uh, that would go watch this. So I think that NSA and Toastmasters um, would be that. I don't know if it's enough of a franchise, um, but hey, I'm going to bring it up and plug it anyway. You never know. And then, of course, they use the, uh, the Avengers and the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which were not quite successful enough even though they had that base of fans and hitting it on the nose was interesting the hook the hook um says the hook this is the encapsulation of a movie that's displayed in the poster the guest has to want to see the movie it's got to have a good hook um and then hitting it on the nose that's a term when it means that the joke was too obvious we didn't there was no great twist we saw what was coming so hitting it on the nose is not a good term apparently it was come up with uh, by movie directors um, or people in the movie industry to say executive producers that's what I meant to say who like no oh, too obvious doesn't work not interesting hit it on the nose yeah not good oh and also page one Page one is not good. What that means is the script needs a rewrite from page one. And what he reminded us, too, is that the structure's got to be right. The structure has to be good because um, that's you can have a lot of great action and ideas, but unless the structure's right, the movie's going to get thrown out. So I have been beat over the head with structure, same as I want to beat over speakers in the head in the structure of their speech. So I am now done the book. Um, got to figure out, got to start writing or doing something tomorrow to make some progress on day 153. So what have you done today? What can you do before you go to bed to get one step closer to your goal? See you tomorrow. Stay